Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, June 15th. It's the fourth week after Pentecost and week five in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 97 to 120, and Matthew 18, verse 1 through 9. And please join me in singing verse 4 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. We are God's people, we God's care. Our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we rear? Almighty Maker to your name. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Hallelujah, Psalm 119. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Your commandments have made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep your word. I have not departed from your judgments, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my mouth, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I gain understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform and I will keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply afflicted, O God. Give me life according to your word. Accept offerings from my mouth and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, and yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, and yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies are my inheritance forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes always, even to the end. I hate vain thoughts but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your word, that I may live and not be ashamed. Hold me up and I shall be safe. I will always respect your statutes. You have trodden down them that stray from your statutes for their deceitfulness is in vain. You put away all the wicked of the earth like dross, and therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles in fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 18, beginning at verse 1. The disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And he called a child whom he put among them and said, Truly I tell you, Unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest of the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, 
It would be better for you if a great millstone were fastened around your neck and you were drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of stumbling blocks. Occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to the one by whom the stumbling block comes. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life maimed or lame than to have two hands or two feet and be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into the hell of fire. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Most high God, save us, for we seek your precepts and love to do your will. Accept our praise as we sing your glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.